regular monthly meeting of the Scarborough Sanitary District, February 25th. Uh, we'll start off with the roll call. Uh, Charles, <coughs> Charles Anderson? Here. Uh, Dave Nelson? Here. Nick Rico? Here. Jason Greenlee? Here. Rob McSorley? I here. Uh, Seth Garrison has been excused, and uh, I'm Ben Viola. Approval of the minutes. So we'll start with the January 28th workshop. So moved. Seconded. Any corrections on the workshop? We already received some from Nick. Okay. Yeah, that we will incorporate. So all, all in favor of approval? 100%. And then the next one is the January 28th regular monthly meeting minutes. So moved. Second. Second. Uh, I believe we had some corrections on that as well. Yes. But, but we, so I had a correction on, uh, on page five, the first sentence at the top of the page. I don't know if there's a pick up already or not. Uh, Mr. Green, if you had a motion to amend the rules, that would have been a motion to suspend the rules. Suspend. Right. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. Operation report. Thank you. Um, a copy of the monthly report of operations for the month of January is included in your packet. Our average F1 flow for the month was 1.36 million gallons today. Our F1 quality was again well within our permitted limits. We averaged 95% VOD removal and 98% total suspended solids removal. The, uh, Concentrations are 14 milligrams per liter and 6 milligrams per liter is practical. Um, a copy of the pump station flows for the month of January is included in your packet. Again, there are some erroneous flows at the Pine, uh, Pine Point pump station, which I think we just figured out today what the problem was. We had we had some uh, failing check valves, um, so the, the pumps were repumping flow and we were getting to be measured. So, um, and we also had some erroneous high flows we put at a tall pine pump station, but that was um, due to some fogging issues within the, in the level. Uh, we have finished replacing all of the generator batteries. This is a proactive maintenance activity that we do once every three to five years and to ensure the reliability of our generators operating. Uh, we have completed the painting of the admin uh, building interior. It had been 12 years since the building had been painted and it was in dire need. Uh, this has provided the opportunity to weed out much unneeded material uh, as we put things back in place. Uh, the budgeted waste activated sludge uh, pump uh, has been delivered. We are currently buying the best way to complete the installation. We actually might put it off until winter time next year. The aeration tank mixes, uh, which were ordered on the last year's budget, has just been delivered. Um, we'll be installing these this spring. Uh, I will be presenting at the Wentworth School Steam Night a um, uh, week from tonight. Uh, the topic will be about wastewater collection and treatment. We'll include in interactive demonstrations, hands out, and possibly a small slideshow. Uh, this past month, Jay Canada attended the Maine Water, Water Utilities Association Conference in Portland. Uh, we'll let associates were on site February 15th to begin the audit process. They are anticipating completing the audit this month. And, um, I have them scheduled to make a presentation at our next trustees meeting, uh, as we have done in years past. Uh, Wood and Curran has completed the draft cost estimate of the four options they reviewed for the sewer and the west of the turnpike. Uh, I am currently reviewing their flow and cost estimates to ensure the district's best interests are served. Uh, oops, so I, uh, I provide you with a copy of the detailed flow allocation that I developed for the lots currently served by the sewers that will be impacted by this project. 
The highlighted cells are parcels that have exceeded their flow allotment. The chairman has asked me that I schedule a workshop to further develop the district's policies in this situation. I'll schedule a workshop prior to the next regular monthly meeting. I do plan on expanding this flow allocation strategy to all properties serviced by the district. That's my comments. Um, one other thing. Uh, we just uh, discovered that we, on one of our electric accounts for the uh, pump station 11, um, we had been paying sales tax on the uh, on the electricity that we've been purchasing for that. And so we filed for a rebate on that, and uh, we should be getting uh, about $1,600 back on that, and we'll no longer be paying sales tax on that account. And I think that's all. Any questions for the superintendent? What was the, um, I know you're going to present it in the workshop, but I was just curious. The four auctions, do you just quickly describe what they are? Um, sure. The, uh, let's see if I can recall what the four options are. Um, option one is a pump station. Basically, opposite uh, on 114, opposite from the golf course on the, on the northerly side, um, and then that would collect flow from the northerly parcels. That would uh, basically pump across the street and flow down through the golf course uh, access road and down towards the uh, the turnpike. And another pump station would be built there, and um, uh, uh, directional bore would be done, and then you know, come into our system uh, on the other side of the roads there. That option was evaluated because there's some sewer in the ground already uh, uh, through the golf course, and they were trying to utilize some of that infrastructure. And there's actually a permit in to go under the turnpike in that location. Oh, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, option two. Uh, again, uh, utilizes two uh, district pump stations. One again uh, on the north side of 114 across from the golf course, and another um, north uh, of 114, but at the uh, halfway between Cummings Road and uh, 114, and that would pump under the turnpike and into our collection system. Uh, the golf course interior would be all private sewer and have their own pump station to service that, and then there would also be some private sewer to service other parcels um, uh, north of, uh, towards the Running Hill Road area. Option three, I the third option is a single pump option, which uh, the pump station again is north of the golf course. It would, uh, that would uh, collect all the flow from the, both the golf course and also the north, north of uh, 114 there, and that would pump down 114 and uh, directly into the turnpike and into our system on. And the fourth and final option is a variant of that, which um, instead of going, uh, that, that previous option had a very long bore under both the access road to 295 and also the joint <coughs> pipe. The, the, the final variant moves um, the force main south on the turnpike and has a much smaller directional bore under the turnpike and again connects it, uh, to the sewer uh, basically in the uh, Rumwood uh, Drive complex area. Does that answer your question? Yes, yes. thank you. So there, there should be a draft report being finalized, I believe, um, next week. And I'm anticipating we'll be able to get the district new guidance for the next week. Thank you. Um, did you attend a meeting 
where this information was presented? Yes. Was that a meeting in the city manager, town manager's office, or was that, was that with the uh, planning department? Uh, and did they have any response to the exhaustions? Uh, they were, they're looking at primarily the lowest cost. It seems like they are leaning towards the, uh, the fourth option, mm -hmm. which frankly I believe we had a meet, uh, previous meeting at the town manager was also in So we'll move on to correspondence. There's no correspondence and no business, no business, and then uh, new business. Oh, no, very old business. Very old business? Right here, right here. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sears Pub, Irish Pub, Bessie Square. Bessie Square, 264 US Route 1. Uh, on behalf of Housing Initiatives and the Limited Corporation, Land Tech Consulting Services, requesting district approval to connect the discharge into the sewer, the sanitary wastewater from the proposed 3,800 square foot restaurant with 112 seats. The restaurant will be constructed on the existing foundation of building A of the original development located at Bessie Square. The proposed restaurant will utilize an external grease trap. The requested sanitary wastewater flow allocation of the restaurant was 2,300 gallons per day. In addition, there is uh, 3,800 Square feet of unfinished office space above the restaurant at four gallons uh, per hundred square foot per day uh, would be needed for that. So, consequently, an additional 152 gallons of capacity is needed above the requested 2300 gallons. Now, the original development was approved on July 27, 2006, and consisted of three buildings, of which only one, Building C, was built. Uh, the 2006 approval was for a mixture of office, retail, and residential space. The total approved flow for all three buildings combined was 2,921 gallons per day, uh, of which building A was at uh, 476 gallons, building B was at 2,080 gallons per day, and building C was at 365 gallons per day. Building C 2015 peak quarter water consumption was 590 gallons per day. There are no plans at this time to develop building B. Uh, with that, the requested flow of 2,300 gallons per day plus the 152 gallons per day from the office space plus the 590 gallons per day based on building C's peak quarter, the total required wastewater allocation for the current proposal is 3,042 gallons per day. I recommend approval with the following conditions. The 121 gallons per day um, is, is subject to the capacity reserve fee. This is based on the difference between the approved flow of 2,921 2 gallons per day and the proposed flow of 3,042 gallons per day. Uh, the current capacity reserve fee is 14.8 per gallon. It is adjusted monthly based on the ENR construction cost index. Based on the current ENR, the total capacity reserve fee due is $1,790.80. Capacity reserve fee is due prior to issuance of the sewer permit. The flow above the 3,042 gallons per day are subject to additional approvals for capacity reserve fees. The flow um, for the project is limited to 3,042 gallons per day, typical sanitary waste. Any future flows in excess of the approved amount for flow characteristics are subject to additional approvals. Food strainers and live food trays are required downstream from any garbage disposal, food macerator, or similar equipment that will allow food waste to flow to the sewer. And professionally surveyed electronic geo reference CAD drawings stamped to be left with the CAD drawings and stamped paper copies to be submitted to the district upon completion of that project. Motion to approve with the caveat attached. Second. So, Dave, are we putting a, a manhole in this one for testing? Testing manhole? Or is our in there? Is there? Oh, is our in there? Are, yeah. So, any questions for the superintendent? So, uh, my, uh, my concern is that we make it clear to the owner of this property that this uses up all the allocation for three buildings and that any additional Construction on the lot, including the previously approved 
third building uh, will the flow from that building will all be subject to the cash and reserve fee. We'll definitely add that. Anything else for the superintendent? Any questions? So could that be included as one of the conditions of the approval? I will amend the motion to include that. I'll amend my second. Thank you. Was there ever a capacity reserve fee paid on the original, the 2006 approval? I believe there was. I can't remember what it was off the top of my head. Uh, my recollection was that the, the proposed project exceeded the original allocation, and there um, I'm almost positive that the capacity reserve fee was paid. So I guess my concern would be we're assuming that all the capacity reserve fee was paid on the on the Twenty-three hundred gallons per day. Is that was it? You understand my point? Yeah. Make sure they um, make sure they pay because that. Because frequently they don't pay that capacity reserve fee until they take up the permits. So if they haven't if they hadn't paid it all in advance, I want to make sure that we're not taking credit for something that. I will confirm that. So no other questions? We can take a take a motion on that. Oh, we already have a motion, motion so we'll take a vote. Uh, motion. First we do the amendment first and then back to the motion. No, yeah. 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 The, uh, yeah. so well he, he agreed to incorporate, to incorporate into, into the original motion. So I don't think I don't think we can vote on the Alright, so we'll vote on the motion. As changed, as amended. As amended. All in favor? Unanimous. Yeah. All in favor? All to win. You need to clear this one. It's a quick meeting, and now we have the public comments already. Do you want to say something on the camera there? <laughs> Nothing for me. Trustee comments, you can start with me. Uh, one of those kind of like lawrences to the Nelson family. Comments other than to say that uh, yeah. Dave's done a great job on uh, following up on the, the extension of the sewer across the, the turnpike. Condolences to the house of Jack, we'll take a motion for adjournment. So moved. Yes. All in favor? 